Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here. Today we are talking about the Callisto Protocol again because we've received some new information that's going to give us some light on just how the game is going to play. So let's get into it. And if you like the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and let's go. As you know, the Callisto Protocol is shaping up to be a truly horrific, gory mess of just amazingness. As seen in the Key 3 trailer, the game is going to be absolutely brutal, and it seems the developers over at Striking Distance Studios are intending to use the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller to the utmost. They say that they are going to focus on really emphasizing everything they can through the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers. That way you can feel every single catch, every single thing that happens with each weapon. When you're in melee, they want you to feel the bones breaking. Whether or not that's yours or the enemy's remains to be seen. But they are really going all out to say the dual sense and all of its features is something that we want to put to the utmost use. Uh, in addition, I can imagine them using the in-controller speaker to kind of, you know, add to the ambiance and just freak us the fuck out. In addition, Game Design came up recently in an interview with Game Informer. Design director Ben Walker was asked about what we can expect from the game. Is this game going to lean more into the action side or into the horror side? Ben Walker, he emphatically stated that this game, while it is going to have melee combat, it is going to have gunplay, you are definitely going to be having more of a survival horror experience as you are just adrift in this prison and it is going to be a constant struggle for survival moment to moment as you work your way through. Everything from the noises to the sights to the flashing of lights, it is going to be a sh constant struggle and really the player is going to be in this state of this fear of the unknown. They're going to be trying to hit this rhythm where you are just getting hit with this constant surge of adrenaline and making people feel nervous, making it so that they don't want to keep going forward. They want to stop walking. They want to take stock of the situation, only to then really get startled when they were not expecting it. So between the ambiance, the gameplay, which is going to be brutal, but more focused on you surviving that encounter than plowing your way through a group of enemies, this is definitely going to be a survival horror title. These are both things I'm excited to hear about. One, because I love survival horror. Two, I think we can probably expect the upcoming Dead Space remake to be more on the action side because that just feels like something that EA would lean towards since, you know... Uh, anything that's not either sports or action doesn't seem to really be in EA's wheelhouse. And three, I am so happy to hear that they are putting such a major emphasis on taking advantage of the DualSense controller. Obviously, more than a few companies have begun really working with it and trying to actually get some real interactive, immersive experiences in with the controller. But hearing a developer say that they're going to take advantage of it in every way possible is very encouraging. If you haven't checked out the Callisto Protocol trailers yet, please do so. It is terrifying and exciting. It launches on December 2nd for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. I myself will be playing it on the PlayStation 5, of course. So let me know what you think. Are you excited for this? And just what other information are you hoping to find out about this game before launch? So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later.